All right, so we're gonna go back through and really focus in on a, a few of the intricacies of doing the uh, headset Juji Gatami from the north north the north south wrist ride. Okay, so as I flip him over here, it's exactly the same as we normally would. I'm gonna come up on my knees though, in this case, because I want to be more mobile. So on my toes, please. Okay. I might still be trying to pin him, but as soon as I know I'm going to go after the, the juji, I'm going to push him over onto his side, okay? I don't want to try and juji him when he's flat, or even mostly flat, because now he's out, okay? Very unlikely I'm going to get that when he's flat. So what I need to do is shove him over onto his side. Boom. Right through there, okay? Not a little push, I need him on his side and hip, right? Then we let go of that arm and the, the shin immediately comes up onto the side to keep him there, okay? Post, collect the head, sit on the head and shoulder, scoop. Don't worry about kicking your other foot over. You can get the move without doing it. If you screw it up a little bit and he starts trying to kick over, then you can put your foot in. But I always try and get it with the shin in first. Okay? One more time through. Got the wrist right. Post. Shove him over to the side. Pull him back down. And as soon as I know I'm going to go onto the juji, I pull this side, push that side until he's up on his hip and his shoulder. Lots of side exposure, okay? I'm going to let go and put that knee up onto his side. Collect him with either leg, sit on his shoulder and head, <coughs> scoop everything up nice and tight. Okay. So this is okay. 